Um, just who is running the St. Augustine Airport? It is a question that some are asking after a second longtime employee quit just this week. The departures come just a few months after the airport's new board ousted the airport's executive director, who'd been in the seat almost three decades. Jessica Clark's on your side, finding out how the exodus could impact the St. Augustine community. The small airport in St. Augustine is seeing a lot of big changes. I have major concerns. Concerns about the public airport, in part supported by taxpayer money. Bruce McGuire used to serve on the St. Johns County Airport Authority Board. He no longer does, but he's concerned about the direction of the airport and the board after recent elections saw most seats turn over. One of the board's first steps was to oust the airport's executive director of 27 years. Months later, the board was just about to hire a replacement when he declined citing board politics. Fast forward to this week. The interim director, who has been at the airport for nearly 20 years, up and leaves, citing lack of support and respect from the board. And now First Coast News has confirmed the office manager left this week too, after nearly 20 years. What's going on? They are meeting more often, they are talking more often, but they refuse to make decisions, especially decisions which are positive benefits to the airport. McGuire is concerned that the departure of three longtime airport leaders is a brain drain. You have lost all of your memory, your corporate knowledge, your all the information you need to run an efficient efficient, effective operation. He says that includes grant writing skills, which small airports need to secure commercial airline flights, something that the airport does not have right now. In fact, a deal to bring in a commercial airline fell apart in March after inactivity from the board. A current board member, Robert Olson, acknowledged the problem. He told First Coast News Thursday, I feel our board does not fully understand how a board and executive director should successfully work together at an airport. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.